It's a man who was born in Philadelphia, born poor, raised without a father, spent much of his childhood in housing projects, became the professor of economics at George Mason, ultimately became the chairman of the Department of Economics at George Mason, as far as I know, the first black person to hold a chairmanship of any economics department of a non-historically black college, author of 10 books, syndicated columnist, well over 100 newspapers. He was a military vet and a good friend of Thomas Sowell. They were colleagues. They were peers. Both of them are in different parts of the country. Sowell was in New York. Williams in Philadelphia. They were both pursuing the same kind of work. Both of them libertarian-type economists who did not believe that racism today was holding people back and very much resented being it used as an excuse. We'll talk more about Professor Walter E. Williams tomorrow. Dead today at the age of 84. R.I.P.